Hello everyone, my name is Pukaritaal. I'm an English instructor and today we're covering Grade 5 English. The chapter is talking about future and we'll be covering its grammar portion. So let's begin the class. Now let's look at the grammar portion here. Okay, so here we have, as per the book number 7, grammar, read and write. So let's look at one of the examples here as given in the book. Okay, so this is more like a jumbled up sentences and we, right, and we make a sentence out of it. I'll tell you how. So here we have first pokhara, pokhara, mother, two days, hotel. And look how sentences are connected. We're connecting one word to the other and there's a slash in between. Take care of this. And we're connecting one word or phrases to the other and we make a sense out of it. All right, so this is how the example goes. I'm going to Pokhara. Now the second sentence says, I'll go there with my mother. I'll go there with my mother, see? Now here, I'm going to Pokhara. I'm going there with my mother. Now next will be, I'll stay there for two days. I'll, it's talking about the future event now. Here, present continuous. I'm going to Pokhara. And once he reaches Pokhara, he will. See, it's future tense here. It's about the future tense. He, simple future, in fact. I'll go there with my mother. So he's get, going there with his mother. I'll stay there two days. And see, two days is also here. And it, again, we'll have to connect this to the hotel now. And finally, I'll stay there in a hotel. I'll stay there in a hotel. I'll stay there in a hotel. So see, it's pretty simple, so to speak. And here in this case, all right, because this is talking about the future plans, because very important to note, because this is talking about the future tense, future plans rather, that something is happening in the future, okay? This is talking about the future plans. It is okay to mention, I'm going to, see, I'm going to Pokhara. And he'll pretty soon be going to Pokhara. It's a future plan, okay? So it might be pretty confusing with simple simple present, right, which is again uh, something that, you know, which, which, which talks about the present action and which is continuing. So it, it, it might be confusing, but because since it's talking about the future plan, I'm going to poke out, we regard this as future, all right, as a future tense here. And all the, all the three that follows here, they are simple future, right, with the application of will, meaning somewhere in the future is going there with his mother and he'll stay there for two days, I'll stay there in a hotel. The future, however, is indefinite future here. We don't know when. We just know he's going to Pokhara, a person, the subject is going to Pokhara, he's going there with his mother, I'll stay there for two days, I'll stay there in a hotel. So apart from will, even I'm going to, which we generally can refer to as simple present, all right, is MR plus ING form of the verb, all right, usually would represent present continuous, but here it's talking about the future plans, that's why we can regard this as future tense as well, okay? So this is how the example has been done to you. This is the answer, by the way, do not be mistaken, how we have interconnected these words and phrases to one another, all right? And all these things are relating to future tense. Don't forget that we are dealing here about future tense. Because remember, the chapter itself is talking about future. Remember the chapter? The chapter itself is talking about future. See, this is how it works. Now, let's move on to the other examples here. Now, it's time to do the exercises. All right, here we go. Remember, we're dealing about future, okay? Now, it starts with Birat Nagar. Birat Nagar, uncle, six days, a lodge. We are following the same format here. We are following the same format there. Well, you can also use, I will go to Birat Nagar. That is no, there's no, nothing wrong with that. All right, I will go to Birat Nagar. It's simple future. The future is indefinite. We don't know when, but somewhere in the future, I'll go to Biratnagar. That is also fine. You can also write, I'm going to Biratnagar in this case because it's talking about the future plan that is regarded as simple future. So let's follow the example. The example just like this one. Say, I'm going to Pokhara, future plan. And that's why you regard this as future tense and not simple present. And then simple future. Simple future means it talks about a future happening, a course of action that will happen in the future when we don't know. Maybe he'll go two minutes from the time you've spoken. Even that's future, right? Maybe he'll go two months from that point onward. Or maybe two years, right? So we follow the same pattern here. We are following the same pattern here. Don't be mistaken. We will follow the same pattern, okay? So let's work it out. So we have here in option Birat Nagar, uncle, six days, a lodge. So you can write... Well, however, it's, it's kind of boring when you, every time you use I, 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 maybe you can round here, continue as Ricky. How about Ricky? I don't know why I picked this name, but it's still Ricky. Ricky is going to Birat Nagar. I've never been to Birat Nagar. I wonder how the place is. Ricky is going to Birat Nagar, first thing. Now, second, because we've already introduced Ricky here, Nick, Ricky being the name of a boy or a man, we can refer now the pronoun here, okay? Hill. He, he will, see, he'll is he will, right? 
He'll go there. He'll go there. Remember, we're interconnecting one another, one word to the other, the other to the next. And all these words or phrases given here must be interconnected. He'll go there with his uncle. Uncle. He'll stay there for six days. So that's good. And finally, he'll stay there in a lodge. He'll stay there in a lodge. See, we follow the same pattern and we're changing this event to the simple future. Okay, now one, you can do it as a homework and the question I'm giving it to you right here. Okay, now in this case, I'll have it to you. Kathmandu, capital city of Nepal. Father, you know what to do, right? Two weeks, a lodge. All right, so this you can certainly do it as the homework. You follow the same pattern, okay? And here's a note to you all, all right? I've already talked about this, by the way, but let me write this down. It's in, it's in the book as well. We use going to and simple future tense, which generally means will or shall talk about to talk about our future plans, our future plans. See, this is how we do this exercise. Now, just bear in mind, going to, if it's related to the future plan, that is, all right, we use going to and simple future tense, which generally means will or shall, to talk about our future plans. The next exercise is very simple. Now, before we begin this, I want to talk to you about something called contraction. Now, you might be wondering, what is contraction, all right? The term we use is T-R-A-C, T-I-O-N, contraction. Now, what is contraction then? So, if you go to the dictionary, you'd find that contraction means to compress or to make something smaller. So, in grammar, however, when we talk about contraction, we are here dealing with, with abbreviations, so to speak. Okay, so how we use contraction then? For example, if the word is I am, or the word or phrase is I am, its contraction would be, contraction means what? To make it short, to compress, to make it smaller, it's going to be an. In the, you know, you know, in the initial exercise which we had done, we dealt about I'll here, I will here, but as we contract I will, it becomes I'll. See, this form is called, this is called contraction. See, we contract this generally lengthier words or phrases, all right? I have, you'll be doing it, I've, see, if it's like, she has, it's going to be like, she's, she's got a car, let's say. If you want to, you, you can even go for, if you want to say, I, uh, I would, I would go for, I would. See, this is, I would. Look at the change in pronunciation, by the way. I would, I would. She has, she's. I have, I've, I will, I'll, I am, I am. See, so this is how contraction is used in English, okay? See, if you want to write is not, you go for isn't, isn't. See, so even for, um, let's say, let us, we often use this word, don't we? Let us, let us go to the party. So you can simply say, let's, let's go to a party. So let's simply means, let us go to a party. So this is what is called contraction. All these compressed form are what we call contraction, okay? Now that we know what contraction is, and there's so much to it, there's so much to it. And remember, this, these are not the limitations of contraction, okay? You can add so much to it. Let's say, uh, where is? Where is? Its contraction would be, where's? Where's? See? There's so much to it. Okay? So, now, once you have an understanding, rest you can find it out. You can literally research and find out what other forms of contractions are there. Okay? For now, we head on to one of the exercises, and which goes here. Uh, the chapter des describes it as number eight, spelling. Spelling. And the heading is, rewrite the sentences using sort Forms. We had the sentences using sort forms. Now, what we what did we say about that sort form? It's called contraction. C O N T R A C T I O N contraction. Okay. One of the examples have been done to you in the book. Number one, I am going to take a sour. Again, a future happening here. I'm going to take a sour. Take a sour. Going to take a sour. Its contraction form would be pretty simple. I'm sure you already know it, right? I am. We are contracting I am, not just, not the whole sentence, by the way. We are not dealing here with the whole, contracting the whole sentence. No, just dealing with these auxiliaries here. I, A, E, Z, M, R, all right, have, has, okay. So, its contracted form would be, I'm 
and the rest remains the same. Going to take a sow. Sow. See? Number two. Number two. I will help the poor. I'll help the poor. It's contracted form will be. I'll. See? We're just dealing with I will here. I will help the poor. Look at the pronunciation. I will help the poor. If you speak the same in contracted form, I'll help the poor. I'll help the poor. Poor. See the next three. C is going to market. It's contracted form. Remember, we're dealing only with C's here. C is going to market. This answer would be C. Hey, by the way, the apostrophe here is very, very important. Without this, you got it all wrong. This is very important. Do not underestimate this apostrophe here. This is very important. See this contract. I'll make sure it's on top. By the way, okay. C is now. Let's continue here. C is. Uh, this is going to this is going to market. Number four, they bought a car. They have bought a car. That's good. They have bought a car. Remember, I have already given you an example of this. So you got to do it yourself. That's your homework, by the way. Okay, you got to figure it out yourself now. They have bought a car. We do not go out at night. We do not go out at night. Number six, they are eating momo. They are eating momo. Uh, momo is very common Nepali food, right? She cannot speak English. She cannot speak English. Number eight, I'll not go there. Finally, number nine, they will go to Darjeeling. They will go to. Remember, when you contract, you don't have to work on the whole sentence. Here, in this case, you're just working on they have. How are you going to contract it? Here, you're working on we do not. What is its contracted form? Come on, you can do it as a homework. Maybe you can do it right now in your class. They are cannot see contracted form of cannot will not and they will so this you can do it as a homework or maybe you can do it right here in the classroom so this is what you can do at home now see you learned how to connect uh, the jumbled uh, words all right and, and 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 change it to simple future and also we learned about contractions and you can do this as your homework and if you have any queries feel free to email us at learning at dearwalk.edu.mp thank you very much